Tata Safari vs Tata Harrier Are there more changes than the extra row of seats in this one? Well, I could count over two dozen such changes and differentiating elements. What are these? Well, let's start with the video. Now, before I start in the video, some of the changes will be very subtle, but nevertheless, it's a change or an update. Up front, the talking point over here is the different grille for the Safari. You can make out it's got a chrome outlining, and even the inner part is completely different as compared to that on the Harrier over here. The Harrier is a exit A. This is a exit A plus on the plus. I have the sunroof over here. Also on the plus for the Harrier, a different color for the alloy wheels comes in. But nevertheless, I'll talk about that at a later stage. So the first change is the grille over here for both the vehicles. The second upgrade or change is the masking around the headlamp. On this one, you have a darker grey shade over here. On this one, it's completely black. If you go down, you can see the the finish for the radiator grills over here. It's a silver finish for the radiator. On this one, it's a all black finish for the radiator. So three changes I can see up front visually. On the sides, well, let's come this side. Now on the side profile, the Safari gets larger 18-inch alloy wheels. This one has a 17-inch setup. Uh, currently on our car, this is our family car. Uh, these are Apollo tires. On the Safari, we have Bridgestones over here. As you go back towards the middle part or the central part of the vehicle, you can make out that although the door length is same, the wheelbase is same. Uh, for the Safari, you have additionally over 60 millimeters of length coming in, which is mainly got to do for the third row, which comes in over here. You can make out between both the cars. This part behind the uh, rear door is much longer for the Safari over here as compared to the Harrier. Secondly, you have additional roof rails which are not present in the Harrier. Even the roof is slightly scooped uh, uh, upwards for more headroom for the third passenger, which is not the case with the Harrier. Also, if you come towards this side, the pattern for the tail lamps on the Safari is completely different. Both are LEDs, the Harrier and the Safari, but the pattern is different for this one. The uh, glass area at the back, it's much flatter, it's much straight as compared to the curved for the Harrier on the other end. So, few changes here and there. If you come towards this side, you can uh, even make out the bumper for the Safari is the redesigned as compared to that on the Harrier. Uh, the same goes for the reflectors as well. Uh, this design versus a uh, shorter design for the Harrier. In terms of safety, you don't, you don't have disc brakes at the rear for the Harrier. But for the Safari, keeping your long distance travel and family in mind, you have disc brakes all around. Two at the front and two at the back over here. Also, because it's a seven-seater or a six-seater for your family needs, if we have people sitting in the last row for their better visibility, the quarter glass on the Safari, understandably, is much larger than that on the Harrier. Uh, this one, the Safari will come to you in three color options and the blue is a new shade. It's not available on the Harrier. Also, Harrier has more color options than the Safari, which is the as of now. So we had first seen the Safari at the Auto Expo property on the inside. It was called the Gravitas at that time and before that it was called the Bazaar. So a lot of changes have been happening for the names. On the inside as you can make out the color combination for the Safari is completely different as compared to the Harrier over here. The Harrier has a darker theme but this one has a lighter theme with a dual tone a darker upper but the seats and other parts are completely finished in a lighter shade. This will be difficult to maintain in a typical Indian environment but it just gives you a more sense of airiness on the inside it's all about space it's all about comfort so these lighter shades for the seat and the door trims definitely works wonders in, in making the interiors feel more airier as compared to the Harrier on the Harrier you can make out the interiors are much more uh, have a darker shade uh, it's a dual tone but again it's a darker shade for the seats and the door trims over there additionally on the inside the USB or the trump card for the Safari is this Now from a driver's perspective, you also have an electronic brake uh, parking in the Safari over here as compared to a manual handbrake that we get in the Harrier. If you are going to be chauffeur driven or if you have a family, you can opt for these kind of seats for the Safari, captain seat, individual, two seats over here. You can also opt for a flat bench to make it a seven seater, two, three or two. Additionally, if you're going to be chauffeur driven and you want to have more extra leg space coming up for you over there, there's something called as, as the boss mode. You can be sitting on this chair and if you pull the lever, you can actually push the uh, front core driver seat all the way up. Additionally, we are told uh, this one also has a auto dimming inner mirror, which is not present in the Harrier. 
जी हाँ इन स्पाइट ऑफ पेइंग लॉट ऑफ मनी फॉर द टॉप एंड हैरियर यू डोंट गेट अ ऑटो ड्यूमिंग इन अर मिरर इट्स अ मैनुअल वन ओवर हेयर बट फॉर दिस वन इट्स फाइनली अ ऑटो ड्यूमिंग मिरर एडिशनली वी आर टोल्ड दिस वन ऑल्सो हैज मूड लाइटनिंग विच आई थिंक इज देयर ऑन दी हैरियर बट इट्स सनलाइट ओवर हेयर इट्स डे टाइम सो आई हैव एन चेक दर आउट पर्सनली एट द बैक वील गो एंड शो यू द बूट स्पेस एंड द लास्ट रो so this is another usb for the safari you need extra seats for your kids you have them right over here so depending on what kind of second row you take this car can be a 6 or a 7 seater as compared to 5 for the harrier of course your luggage space comes down drastically it's possibly enough only for a couple of backpacks you can't even keep a night stroller but that's something you have to live with if you want extra seats you have to compromise with the boot space over here In the Harrier, it's a five-seater, and the boot is massive, massive. Now, the roof of the Safari has been scooped out uh, upwards to create more room on the inside for your headspace. Very, very important. Additionally, for the rear passengers, you also get a proper dedicated secondary AC unit. The knob is over here, and you have two USB charging outlets for your mobile phones on the left side. Now, in terms of convenience and safety, a feature has been missing on the Harrier, the TPMS or the Tire Pressure Monitoring System. It's finally present in the Safari. So, for your longer drives, to keep in mind the amount of pressure in any tire or even the temperature of a tire, you have a display inside the Safari. Apart from this, while the engine, gearbox, and mechanicals remain identical, the Safari is a bit heavier. Likewise. The steering and suspension is tuned differently but just about. That said, the overall NVH levels or the noise, vibration and harshness levels definitely felt better when I drove both the cars back to back. And yes, the Safari will be priced at a slight premium over the Harrier and there will be a minor shuffling of features across the version lineup. So in the end while both the cars have the same engine the same suspension and the chassis and the mechanical parts the differentiating elements over 24 elements or changes they are very important to give both the cars their own unique identity and their own customer base in the end which one is your pick will depend on the number of seats you want five seater the harrier does the job six or seven this one does the job and both the cars are superb in their own areas in my opinion